Amen. These things are bigger than, uh, they're huge, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, look at them That's compared. That's the 16-inch barrel of Mexican. That's the barrel. And you put three of those black powder bags behind it. Wow. And fire that shell 26 miles. Huh. Comes out of here, huh? Those black powder bags were shipped across the United States by truck. The railroad wouldn't haul it. Okay. So they came across the United States at night by truck. They weren't allowed to drive during the day. No, these these come out of the um, the boats. Yeah. These big ones here. Yeah. This this one's submarine or boat. This, this is fired from a ship to another ship. That's fired from a ship to at an airplane. And that's oh really? A, and that's a nuclear nuclear torpedo in a second. So this one this one here comes out of. They fire off the ship. Oh, this one comes off the ship. It fires off the ship at airplanes, aircraft. Okay. Hmm. Or that one fires it from one ship to another ship. Now, do any of them go under the water? Just the torpedo does. This one here does? Yeah. And you say that's a nuclear one? That's a nuclear torpedo. It's called a wire guided. Wow. What about this one here? That's a underwater mine. Dropped from an airplane. Oh, okay. The old World War II garage rockets off the landing craft. And uh, in the corner here is called a Miklik. This was used to clear the minefields in the Gulf War. What, this one right here? Yeah. Uh, this is how they got across the desert to Saddam Hussein's tanks in the Gulf War. These would be on trucks following the tanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. They come to a minefield. Instead of going out there and digging this crap out, they fire this, attach one end of the vehicle, fire this rocket out over the minefield. When she lays down, it's 300 feet. They touch it off, boom, and you get a highway across the minefield. And they all go across until the next minefield. Wow. It was a very... Successful invention. Hmm. So this was an invention here. Yeah. And you've got one of these in the front, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So does somebody sit in this or just no, go? No, no, these are on our first unmanned aircraft. Oh, so this this just flies by itself. Yeah. Wow. This was a test in Mono Lake. Back before EPA was around the world, uh -huh. okay? They wanted to know. Oh, that's that, Mono Lake there? That's Mono Lake. Wow. Okay, it's the far side, okay? Hmm. And this is this is the bomb they built. It's a 40,000 pound TNT bomb, okay? And what they wanted to find out is if a nuclear, if a submarine snuck into one of our harbors and set off a nuclear weapon, what would happen? Well, when they set this off, it went straight up. Oh. Okay. Nuclear has to be dropped about 16, 1800 feet above the ground, and then it spreads. Okay. Okay. Down in the water, it didn't do nothing except make a big splash straight up. So, not a worry. Right. Yeah. You know, they said, well, we don't got to worry about that. Hmm. But if there was a what if, they, they'd go somewhere and try it. And this was an accident in 1971. They were modifying these rockets. Mm -hmm. it blew up, huh? Where, blew where, did, where did that happen? Out here at the base. Oh, really? Yeah, killed three people. Wow. But 81 years this base been here, and we've lost 10 people. So. Well, that's not too bad. No, no. I mean... And it didn't happen, and you know, nothing happened. Hmm. Huh. I mean, that was too valuable property to let them have it. Just for making that rocket fuel. They could move that rocket fuel anywhere else. I always think some things are done intentionally.